Now, I want to, uh, for each webinar now, I want to be a bit uh, something more education, um, even if the, if the other ones are education. I want to talk about the, the rule of 16 uh, of the VIX. So as I mentioned before, this is something that I talk in the four by four video series. Uh, so the, the VIX or the volatility index of the S&P is dispatched real time by the Chicago uh, Board Options Exchange or the CBOE. And, and uh, for the marketing, it's known as the fear index. Um, the way you calculate um, the, uh, the VIX is you're gonna be taking different tranches of options um, between 23 days and 37 days here for the S&P expiration. And that's gonna give you a level of implied volatility for the next 30 days. The definition of the VIX, it, it, it represents one standard deviation of the market's estimation of the changes in the price of the S&P during the next 30 days. So if you go more into detail, because these days you have many retail traders that are uh, playing with options. And when I say playing, they are not investing, they are literally playing. Um, most uh, uh, pricing are coming from the Black and Shell models that I explained as well in the 4 by 4 video series. But what is important is as an investor, as a trader, if you look at the implied volatility, that is a better way to understand the risk in your portfolio and if you could have some opportunities as a trader. If you look at the Black and Shell models, those are a tricky model, a quite complex model. Uh, in reality, very few if you trader uh, understand uh, how to uh, to calculate in depth um, those volatility and those black angel models. I, re I remember 20 years ago, I was doing an internship um, and I was um, in, um, in, um, in a trading room in Paris and I was talking to one of the, um, of the consultant there and he was telling me, you know, very few traders understand how to do it. This is why you get prices, uh, prices for, for the black angel models. Um, if you want to find some prices, there will be uh, tons of them on, on, on internet and how to price the, those things. Here we are still looking at the rule of 16, um, where to get the daily implied volatility, we want to divide the annual volatility by the square root of the number of trading days per year. So if we Take a normal year, you're going to have roughly 252 days, uh, trading days, uh, working days. So if you do the square root of 252, that gives you roughly 1587. So to give you an example, if you take a 20% implied annual implied volatility, that will translate into 1.26 daily implied volatility. Okay, so that's here we should be talking 20 instead of 30, that's better. And that gives you a 1.26%. So what about the rule of 16? The rule of 16 is very helpful and easy to remember. Why? Because that gives you the change. Uh, if the VIX is at 16%, that tells you that 68.2%, which is one standard deviation, uh, the S&P is going to be moving by 1%. So think about, you know, you look at the VIX, you know that the average is at 90%. You know that over time it went from, let's say, 9% to 80%. If you are 60% and you think that the S&P returns are going to be doing like this, you're going to have at 16% one standard deviation of 68% chance that the S&P is going to be moving by 1%. Okay, so I think this, this rule of 16 is pretty simple. Think about 16% VIX is 1% move on the S&P. So if we look at the past, how the S&P or the, should I say the, the VIX, the implied volatility of the S&P, has been doing over time and looking at the VIX closing above 16 uh, for each and single year. So we the VIX started in 1992. So that's, I mean, depends. Sometimes they give you other numbers. But if you look at, at those numbers, you can see that we are going through cycle of higher volatility. So that's going to be here, the dot-com bubble, 
For three to four years, the market is very quiet. So you got a cycle of lower volatility, economy doing fine. And you got another cycle of high volatility, which uh, uh, where you have three to five years of high volatility where the VIX is gonna be more than 90% of the time above 16%. And what is interesting here is, as you can see, we had a very long time of low volatility from 2012 to 2020, where actually the VIX was uh, very low in 2016 and 2017. But you can argue as well that 2013 and 2014, the market experienced low volatility. Um, and that's, again, that goes hand in hand with uh, the economic situation, so there is no surprise. Year to date, um, the, 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 the VIX has been trading above 16% uh, every single day, even if it's coming down. Again, I, this is something that I keep, this is something that I always watch. Uh, we, and I'm, we'll do another video between uh, <clears throat> implied volatility and realized volatility. But keep in mind this rule of 16, of 16 for the VIX, which again is the S&P moving by 1% on the day. Uh, 